You ever have your voice crack at the worst possible time? Something from the brain of Steve Saylor. This story is called Act Naturally. Being the fact that Easter was this past weekend, I figure I'd tell you a story about what happened to me one Easter weekend in 1995. So I was 13 years old and I was cast in this play for a church for an audience of 2,000 people. I had to play a talking rooster. Yes, you heard me right, a talking funny rooster. So the play was called His Fleece Was White As Snow. And you remember when Jesus rode into Jerusalem uh, riding a donkey? Uh, during, before his crucifixion. But this whole play was from the animal's perspective. So there was the donkey in there, there was a lamb, I played the rooster that crowed three times, letting everyone know that Peter basically lied, saying that he knew anything about Jesus. The problem was, that I found, was that I was 13 years old, and I was starting to get into that teen angsty period, and I had to wear this really stupid rooster costume. I had to wear yellow pantyhose. I'm not kidding, it was so weird. And the costume looked odd too, and I had to wear makeup for the first time. What was even worse was that of course, I started to hit puberty. And my voice started to crack. And being the fact that not only was this a kid's play, this was also a kid's musical, and I had to sing. Not only that, I had to sing the opening number, and not only that, I had to sing the opening line a cappella. So I made sure I practiced this, all the songs backwards and forwards, making sure that I knew for a fact that I could do this without my voice cracking one bit. So comes opening night, I'm standing up on stage, the spotlight hits me, and I'm about ready to sing. And so I belt out out loud the lines, rising sun, shine on me. I'm not gonna sing it for you because you, you don't wanna hear me sing. Of course, the first, the first note, my voice cracks. Whole audience laughs, except for me. I was so embarrassed, I just had to continue on with the song, and I had to go on, the show must go on. So I continued on with the rest of the song, continued on with the rest of the play, and thank God, nothing else happened. But still, oh, it was still just as embarrassing. Hope you like that story. Actually, that story is a little bit more paraphrased and a little bit more concise in my book called Two Minute Stories. It's Amazon Kindle. It has over a hundred different stories that you can be able to read every single story in two minutes or less, hence the idea for the book. The link is in the description down below, so you can be able to download that. You can download for your uh, iPhone, your Android, uh, your Mac, your PC, whatever you want to read it on. Uh, it'll be easy for you to be able to do so. And I want to know from you, was there, you ever have an embarrassing story where your voice cracked or your puberty reared its, reared its ugly head uh, and, and made you all embarrassed? I want to know, so it's not, I'm not the, the only one. Uh, leave, let me know in the comments down below. All right, that's it for me. As always, I remain obedient to the oars. See you next time. Bye. How about you? I don't know how to do it, but do it anyway.